you will need one completed um, daisy chain big enough to fit your ankle comfortably. I made this one into a bracelet. I'm just going to use it for demonstration purposes. The only thing is instead of a toggle clasp it would be better to use just a regular twist clasp. See how it just untwists? And it just doesn't come undone as easy as a toggle clasp can. You will also need the same colored beads that you use to make this. You will need about one meter of fishing line. When you make your daisy chain anklet, what you need to do is make it big enough to fit your ankle and you want it to have an odd number of flowers. So you'll want, okay, so you want it to have an odd number of flowers and the reason is we want it where we're going to start the toe part, we're going to have it coming out of the middle flower. So when you make this, just make sure you have an odd number of flowers. Okay, so to start, we're just going to undo the anklet and just lay it out. Then find your middle flower and then take your fishing line, one end of your fishing line, and what we're going to do is, see how there's three petals? We're going to go in through the tip of the middle. Okay, just, just that one bead. And then just bring it down to the middle of your fishing line. Basically what we're going to do is, see how this continues from that? We're going to do that down here. Okay, so we're just going to continue the pattern down. So what we need is, see how we did three green beads in between each one? That's what you're going to do down. So you're going to need three green beads on one side. And just let it fall down and then you want three green beads on the other side. Now we're going to start the next flower. So now to start the flower you'll need to bead on one white bead to one side of your fishing line and then go back with the other side of your fishing line Just like that, grab the two small ends and pull. There you go. So that is the start of a flower. So what you're going to do is you're going to do basically the same thing that you did to make this, but you're going to do it this way. So just continue the pattern that you did for that until you have a length long enough to reach your toe. So once you've got it as long as you need it. Um, if you can, stop at a flower. So now we're going to do the toe part. And for that, you need to thread on enough green beads for, to go around your toe. In my case, uh, it's usually about 50. So I have 25 on this side and about 25 on this side. And what we're going to do is we're going to come around okay now if this part is a little short um, and you needed to make like just a little bit more um, because this was too short just make this toe piece just a little longer so and then that would make up for the little gap that you were short. Um, mine's not, so I'm just going to go from the flower and just measure for my toe. And all you're going to do is tie this
So all we're going to do is we're just going to tie this. Oops. Try not to get it twisted. So just tie a knot, whatever knot you like. I like a sw the square knot. Okay. So there you go. So take your loose end. So I'm just going to grab one of these ends. And I'm going to thread it from beside the knot back up through some beads. Doesn't matter how many. I usually go anywhere from half an inch to an inch. And then make sure your other ones aren't in the way. Now, get that out of the way, like that, and then just turn it around, see how that's in there? Now with this end, we're going to do the same thing. Okay. And then just cut your ends. And there you go, a beautiful, large, daisy, beaded, barefoot sandal.